today we're at Legoland Windsor and stay with us to the end of the vlog where we'll put some plus size information a dinosaur dragon no dinosaur, it's a dragon the models are really interesting aren't they? Yeah. really good got a red dragon Viking River Splash really enjoyed our trip on that and I've got like a blue dragon over there over the river Viking River Splash This is the Spinning Spiders ride It's like a very tame world it's a Again this looks very plus size friendly I love the theming with the spiders The actual spider's mouth goes in and out as well Keep your hands on the bars and your booty on the deck There be some mighty seas ahead now let's hoist the sails and weigh the anchors. It be time to explore the pirate seas. Come on, get your backs into it, lads. Pirate Falls, which is a lot of flume ride. Takes up to four adults, so two plus size adults wouldn't have a problem getting on this ride. This is for your own safety. Failure to comply with this rule will mean we have to stop the train. So we just had our ride on the Lego Land Express. Hope you enjoy the footage. Again, plus size friendly. Nothing really to say much about this. It's a miniature railway ride, but there is good accessibility. 
as you enter it's level with the floor to where you enter onto the train so good accessibility the doors open wide you just have to watch your head if you're quite tall to the roof of the trains maybe only five foot ten six foot at most we really enjoyed our little ride seeing all the lego models as we went around Deep Sea Explorer, actually going a submarine made to look like Lego, obviously. The Lego fish were amazing. Lego, yeah. There's Lego fish and Lego figures, but I won't give too much away again. Again, if you're plus size, it's very accessible for plus size people. There's about four or five steps down into the submarine, but no restraints or anything like that. Just bench seats, and you sit down and you look out of the windows into the aquarium as you sail through the aquarium underneath the water. There is a handrail as well, isn't there, to go down the steps into the submarine? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. it does feel safe. Um, once you're at the top of the steps, there isn't another handrail or anything to board um, like the walkway. But it did feel quite stable leaving the boat. It was it was really smooth, wasn't it? It was a smooth exit, like the boat's not rocking or anything. No, it's very uh, well supported, stable, easy to access and exit the boat after the ride. Yeah, I'd say that's an easy ride. That yeah, one. really enjoyed it. We'd do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, Chief. Everything's um, under control. So we're currently in Miniland um, at Legoland and um, in this wonderful creation we have lots of different countries represented by the 
wonderful Lego artists and this is currently Holland and the beautiful buildings that are so memorable to, to me because we've, we've had quite a few wonderful trips to Holland and to Amsterdam in particular and if you look over here you'll notice a windmill which again is very characteristic of Holland and if we just have a walk along down here you'll see that there's a lot more of those windmills and here we are we're still in um, still in Holland but I just had to take another shot because the the architecture I mean the architecture in, in Amsterdam and Holland is absolutely beautiful and I just can't believe that they've, they've managed to create this in Lego because it really does look amazing I just can't believe that you can reproduce this in, in, in Lego I'm speechless to be honest We're having like a Bollywood dance in front of the Taj Mahal. Australia, we were sharking the sea. We've got New York, Statue of Liberty and over in the distance you can see Las Vegas don't know if you can really see Las Vegas from New York the size of these models are amazing We've got the White House, the President's Cavalcade, and we've got the St. Louis Arch with a bee in Chicago. One of the old muffler men that you see on Route 66. Check out one of my other vlogs coming soon of our trip at Route 66. Got the blue whale. Yeah, V from Breaking Bad. Spaceship. We're on the Florida coast. Cape Canaveral and NASA. We've got the Rocket Park. The Space Shuttle. So we've got the Eiffel Tower. 230,000 bricks. 512 hours to build the Eiffel Tower. London Eye, the River Thames. Buckingham Palace, Trooping the Colour. Queen's there on the horse, trooping the colour. Windsor Castle, family home to the British Royal family. And we've got the back end of Buckingham Palace, the Queen's having a tea party. Square. Oh, 
we're going to check out Ninjago Varai. All the characters. Maybe about two flights of steps to go up. You okay there, Louise? Yeah. Louise has uh, recently hurt her ankle, so she's struggling at the moment. That's probably why you've seen her on crutches and using an ECV today. Right, it's dark in here. Oh, it's nice and cool. I guess this is where we have a pre sure ride. Pre sure, which we're not running. So we just got off the Ninjago ride, 4D ride. Really enjoyable. Definitely plus size friendly. They have rows of four in each uh, vehicle. There's no accessibility uh, issues. You walk straight from the loading station onto the vehicle. And then you sit down and then a control bar, lap bar just falls down, but it only seats where it's comfortable for you. It doesn't need to hold you in. Definitely uh, plus size friendly. The only issue is there's about 24 steps going up and obviously 24 steps coming back down but there are accessible lifts that you can use if need to if you're plus size or you've got mobility issues it's definitely a ride that you can come along and enjoy we had a really good time unfortunately Louise beat me on this ride you can't win them all Haunted oh, house house party, strobe lighting, immersive madhouse ride with light, sounds and smell effects. Vampire, the most totally awesome and scary monster of all time. It's even got the creepy sound effects when he opens the door and he can go in. So we've uh, just been on the Monster House Party, I think it's called, at um, Legoland. Again, plus size friendly. Very similar to X at Holton Towers. How did you find it, Louise? I think the only thing I'd like to add is that there was more room on the back row, there's two rows, there's more room to enter the seating area on the front than there is the back. Unfortunately, because of social distancing at the moment, they're making everybody sit on the back row. Now, it's not a huge squeeze, but just factor in that, you know, you may need to sort of squeeze and morph yourself to get in a little bit like I did. Um, so for me, most of my weight is kind of concentrated in the lower belly area, which is where the sort of size restriction is on this ride. Um, now, it wasn't difficult to get in, but it wasn't easy either. Um, and for me, I felt a little bit awkward. Um, but like I said, it just took an extra second. So it definitely was, it was doable. I also got the end seat. Well, there was a message on the seat saying that the seat was suitable for adults only. Um, which is strange because it was actually the smallest seat on the entire row. Um, so I'm not too sure why it said that. Maybe it's a safety concern because it's the end um, and the worried about children for. Just had to change the battery there. Like I was saying, very similar to X, but very enjoyable. Enjoyed the ride. 
very plus size friendly, apart from the concerns as obviously that Louise has mentioned. Definitely go on it again. To the Ninth Kingdom. Great views of a castle from up here. Merlin over there. So we've just been on the dragon here at Lego Land. It's a dark ride at the beginning and then it goes into a small roller coaster. Just to give you some figures of whether or not this would be suitable for you as a plus size rider. I'm currently today weigh 163 kilos and have a t-shirt size of 4 to 5 XL. I managed to sit on them as an electronic lap bar that comes down. It isn't a ratcheted one so it just comes down to me the size of your belly and then it locks in place there's plenty of room for me what well, I would suggest well, there's two seats is asking for a, a row just for yourself because it would be difficult to have two plus size riders sat side by side but yeah it's very enjoyable if you are a plus size person I definitely recommend this ride come on if you feel that your size is uh, roughly my size or smaller it was really enjoyed it. It was probably my first roller coaster in 20 years. For your first roller coaster, it's very enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. So go and check it out. So we've just come down the Viking Hill and we're overlooking the Viking River Splash Legoland's water ride. It looks very plus size friendly, accessible. You don't require any sea belts to get on. There is a few steps, as you can see, to get down onto the loading platform. So that was a, a long zigzagging route. So I'll just show you one of the Viking River Raft Ride ride vehicles. As you can see, there's a door which opens up. It's quite accessible, easy to get through. Plenty of seats, especially at the moment with COVID-19. It's one party per ride vehicle. So me and Louise going on this, we had plenty of room. And as you can see, no seat belts. Entering and exiting the ride, there is a number of steps, maybe about 10 or 12 steps that you have to go down. And there is that moving walkway that's rotating. But we didn't find it too difficult. If you need any assistance, you could ask another member of a party to help you along with that. And getting in, it's quite easily to get in the ride vehicle. Really enjoy our ride. This is the Spinning Spiders ride. Again, this looks very plus size friendly. It looks like you can easily enter and be very plus size accessible. Quite a wide doorway to get in. So I just got off the Jolly Rocket. Today I managed to get on the ride. The lap bars came down, a little bit of a squeeze around my belly, but managed to get on. Today 
I weigh approximately 162 kilos and generally wear a size 4 to 5 XL shirt. So anybody smaller than me, I'm six foot two as well, anybody smaller than me wouldn't have any problems feeding on this ride. So we just got off the Pirate Falls Treasure Quest, which is the Lock Flume ride. Really enjoyed it, got soaked. You will get soaked on this ride. We managed to fit on reasonably easily on the carts, two people to one Lock Flume. But there were some issues or difficulties actually stepping down into the car? Yeah, I think um, the, the, the width of it was no problem. Um, there's plenty wide enough and there's plenty of room, you know, sort of some, some front to back as well. The problem I had really was climbing into and out of the boat because there's nothing that you can hold on to to steady yourself. Um, but other than that, it was fine. There's loads of room and it was quite a comfortable um, seating position as well really but yeah you will get really really wet so I, um, yeah. yeah be prepared for that i found the theming really good the theme is excellent on this ride but the entire part of the theme is brilliant all the way around with all the lego characters figures this one's obviously got a pirate theme with animatronics and sound and smell pods really good theme really enjoyed the day really enjoyed this ride definitely worth coming here if you're a plus size the hill train takes you from the bottom of the park back up to the park entrance rather than needing to go up all the pavements, paths and you, we have one carriage which is accessible for wheelchairs and pushchairs so there's only us on the hill train <laughs> going back it's five o'clock and the park closes at five all right uh, cheers Got the Viking water ride, rafting ride. All closed for the day. Some gophers, or moles, some moles and digging. Yeah, all of them. The theming is just brilliant. Yeah, oh yeah, the theming's brilliant around this park. So this is priority parking, but it's also where you would park if you're a disabled uh, visitor, if you've got blue badge. And I just want to show you how close you are to the entrance. So there we are, we're at the entrance. So it's not very far at all. We found it very plus size friendly and accessible. Hopefully the videos will give you an idea of what it's like if you come here as a plus size person or a person with some mobility issues. We found that there was plenty of rides to go on and there's a lot to see including the Miniland area with the models of America, England, France and all around the world so we really enjoyed it all the rides we went on were very accessible and we couldn't do enough to help us so definitely would like to come back and see you on the next one see you.